Happy March 19th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Master Laurel gifted Ivy an enchanted necklace that increases her dexterity and attack attributes. He also gave her three magical campfires, which will allow us to rest while we are out traveling the Lost Wood looking for the forest guardians um i'm tempted <laughs> uh we just came out of the sewer <laughs> and we're half dead um master laurel just gave us campfires that will let us rest later um i'm really hoping they give us a chance to you know <laughs> take a bath and uh and heal up um so hoping for a rest here soon uh with or without a campfire um, in any case, uh, if things play out here like they did the last time we were in quest preparation mode, I suspect we will be uh, putzing around the city for a few more days. <laughs> uh, real world calendar days. If so, it's not a bad thing. We might get a pet and a party member and some healing potions and whatnot. But when you're itching for adventure, several days of this can try one's patient so I'm personally mentally hunkering down and preparing for uh, a few days here of preparation so let's see uh, let's see if there's an adventure on the calendar for us today that looks like shopping okay uh, what do we have you take your leave and head out into the city to stock up on supplies I really I really really think we should take a bath first but uh, here we are the weather takes another drastic turn this day as sweltering heat quickly melts the snow and hides any evidence that a storm passed by only yesterday. Okay, so we reek and now it's swelteringly hot. Um, your journey to the Lost Woods could take up to four days if you don't, en if you don't encounter any trouble. The closest, ci the closest city beyond the woods is Harkin Run. Oh, we saw that on the map. Okay, we have a clue where we're going. Hold on. This is exciting. Uh, here's the map. Harkin Run. There's Harkin Run over on the east. So here's uh, the camera. Is this working? Here we go. There's Harkin Run. Uh, here's Crown Spire. And there's the burrows um, where Tak is from. And I think Quill came from up here. So... We're going possible. Well, it doesn't really say. I guess we're not going all the way to Harkin Run, but we're heading this direction. We know now. We know now. We know. So uh, consider gathering supplies to make it beyond there, beyond Harkin Run. Your journey to the Lost Woods, the closest city beyond the woods, is Harkin Run. Does it say we're going beyond our? Um, that's kind of hard to understand. Um. Four, anyway, four days of supplies. Uh, oh, and, um, okay, and while we're looking at the map, Disco um, comes back with two amber that he found somewhere on this page. Uh, so that takes us to, um, where are you, Ivy? Almost there. Here we go. Ivy, that brings us to... 53, 53 amber. Okay. All right. So we're we're uh, we're stocking up here. What do we have? You'll have a chance to recruit party members at the next stop. Save some amber if you are interested. Oh yes, we we are interested. I don't know why. <laughs> All our party members have done so far for us has gotten us punched in the face. So, uh, I don't think I managed to activate anybody's abilities. And we've only damaged them. But, you know, they're fun to have around. So, food stalls. Food stall vendors are open early today. As many critters look for traditional breakfast following the Turning Leaf Festival. Many are enjoying their last meal at Crown Spire. Well, that sounds ominous. Before leaving to return home. Okay, they're just <laughs> headed home. The delicious scent of freshly baked bread, sizzling street food, and aromatic coffee fills the air. 
tempting your taste buds. Here you can purchase meal rations for travel. Meal, meal rations, one amber. Um, we have five. And of course, we have no idea how many we'll need. Um, the Ardent Advent... Oh, we'll come back to that. The Ardent Adventurer. You find an establishment owned by a charismatic and adventurous raccoon named Rylan which beckons thrill-seekers with various combat-related items and potent potions. This emporium caters to the daring souls of the forest, equipping them with the necessary tools for embarking on perilous quests and epic adventures. I, I do enjoy the writing. Whoever's doing the writing here, uh, bravo. Okay, and these are all the... Um, the we have one of these... We have a foresight flower. We've had some of these in the past. They all add D4 to various things. And lastly, we can buy, it looks like, health potions and stuff. You enter a quaint shop run by a gentle and wise hedgehog named Hazel. Within the shop's serene confines, you find a variety of healing potions and salves, each carefully crafted by Hazel to mend the ailments of the critters of Renwood. So, okay. Uh, five meal rations. Do I, do I have, um, okay, here's, we've used meal rations once before. If we can find Quill, where's Quill? Hatch. Uh, oh, here we go. Quill, where's the, okay. Woodland Springs. How far was that? So back to the map. I should really put a tab on this or something. So, yeah, we were right. There's, there's Woodland Springs. Here's Crown Spire. Um, Harkin Run is further by maybe a third or fifty percent. And the way things were worded, I'm not sure. If it said prepare to go beyond Harkin Run. I think so. This could be a long journey. And I'm pretty sure Quill just spent one day. Um, right. So, does it say? This page, if you remember, way back on January 16th. Um, five, five meal rations. Uh, highlight. There we go. Five meal rations. Um, five meal rations. These were different things we could have chosen to do. Looks like worst case, Quill needed five meal rations if you ever need to consume one or more meal rations and do not have enough reduce your health by one so a meal ration is basically worth one health and we could possibly need four times what quill needed 20 meal rations that's that feels excessive uh maybe we'll be able to forage or something on the way but a health potion for 5 amber restores D4 health. Um, am I overthinking this? Am I thinking too much about this? I mean, uh, 5 amber, worst case, you get 1 health. Best case, you get 4. But 5 amber will get you 5 meal rations. And if you need them, they're, that wor that's worth 5 health. So meal rations are better than health potions um, in certain circumstances. Uh, and I want to save some money for... Party members, how much do we want to save? At least 30 or 40, I think. You know what? I think I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy... This feels crazy. This feels like a lot, but I'm going to buy 10 more meal rations. That brings us to 15. That might not be enough, but that's a lot of donuts. <laughs> um... And that brings us down to 43. And there's nothing I can really get for 3 Amber. Um, all these other things are nice to have. But uh, I have a health potion already. Another health potion wouldn't be bad. Should we buy another health potion? Sure. Okay. That brings us to f okay 48. Right? No, 38. Ooh, 38. I, I wish we knew how much the um, party members were going to be. 
Okay, I'm just doing the meal rations. Because I, I think they're going to be more valuable even than the health potion. So that's minus 10, so we're down to 43. And we'll save that for um, party members and, and pets, I think. Just because they're so cool. <laughs> so, all right, well... Okay, that, my friends, is March 19th. So, we shall say goodbye uh, for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.